though is I love it I love it I'm having so much fun damn I forgot my gym towel ah it's supposed to be a rule that you bring a towel to this gym I hope they don't call me out because I really I don't have enough time to make it home and back So this traffic light always screws me over. Let's see if it's gonna do it tonight. This direction will go, other direction is going, and as soon as it's time to get the turning arrow, we get screwed. Yes! Stoked on that. That was a great workout. Almost every exercise was a personal record tonight. Couldn't be happier about that. Um, I'll share a little bit more. Maybe we'll talk about what it is I'm doing as soon as I get home. As soon as I catch my breath. Right. I had to stop and pick mom up some dinner on the way home. Man, what a great workout. You know, I just. I just really appreciate the gym. I like the way it makes me feel. I like the accomplishment. I love tracking my workouts. It's like an addiction on multiple levels. <clears throat> Been really hitting it three nights a week for going on my fourth month now, and I see the progress. Like I feel the progress. It's all it's all about getting stronger. The program that I'm participating in. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. Hey guys, thanks for coming back. It's uh, it's been a pretty long day. I just got back from the gym, just got out of the shower, and I am super excited to be home and to catch up on some rest and to film and to edit it's this this vlog has become such a huge part of my life i love it i love you guys thank you so much for coming back it means so much to me so part of what i want to talk about tonight is these workouts is fitness about almost four months ago I decided to make some changes in the way that I was living my life. For me, it was all about being happy. The last four years have been very difficult and I've, I've come a long way, but there were a few things keeping me from being truly happy. A continuation of learning uh, and a continuation of becoming increasingly fit and strong. Sorry for the mess back there. Um, I've been digging through my toys a lot since since the unboxing the other night to come up with some new uh, toys to go ahead and, and unbox or review and I've made kind of a mess so don't look. Spoiler alert. 
back to what I was saying. So, yeah, wellness, health, fitness, and strength. Those were things that I considered my current uh, physique and situation lacking. So I really jumped in in self-educating. I did a lot of research online and offline about what would be the best match for me and, and for my lifestyle and finding a system that I resonate. Not really sure how I discovered uh, Greg and Kino Body. It really stood out to me. And when something speaks directly to you, I think you should embrace it. And if it's a risk, then there's a lot to gain. And beyond just being a fitness and a, a nutrition style coach, Greg is also a YouTuber. It's something that was important to me. It, it proved to me that he was thinking outside of the box. I'm gonna go ahead and post the link below and then I'll do one of those things right here to let you guys find his channel easily. I, I don't gain anything from promoting this. It's not like a, a paid promotion or an advertisement. This is something that I truly believe in. So the, the program that I'm in relies on three principles. The first one, and, and important primarily uh, for the results of the program that I'm in, is called intermittent fasting. Now. There's a few things that you need to do it effectively, and I'm gonna go ahead and probably make a dedicated video to this journey. So stay tuned for that. Basically, it's all about um, counting calories and macronutrients. So, you know, go ahead and Google those if you're interested, but it's a very effective way of managing weight loss. Uh, the second principle is is a is a fitness term it's a strategy or a tactic it's called reverse pyramid training i'm looking at it as a, a great starting point for something that's more big picture and then the third principle is is a mindset and it's about being present this is what resonated the most to me about kino body and about greg and his philosophy and the approach of the program that i'm in so along with the materials that I got, there was this quote unquote missing chapter. And the missing chapter was really what sold me on dedicating a big part of my life at this time to the program. notice my amp in the background of some of these vlogs if you've seen some of the vlogs most of them take place here in my room the amp commands a large portion of my living space and there's a reason why I have a giant rig I've been playing a uh, bass guitar in a band heavy metal band for going on 20 years We've had record deals, we've gone on small tours, you know, we did the whole thing. Um, the, the South Florida music scene, especially within uh, metal and hardcore and stuff, has had a lot of ups and downs over the years. So we did end up putting the band on somewhat of a hiatus. All that being said, when a band that comes through town that fits our type of crowd, we come out of hibernation. It's a little bit like Godzilla. Every few years, he just rolls out of the ocean and destroys anything in his past. So that's what you could think of SAC, like SAC is the name of the band. Look, gold record. Some cover art that I illustrated by hand. There's our CD entitled Foul. You can see why. There's probably about 200 f-bombs on there a couple months ago we came out of retirement and we played uh, an anniversary like reunion show and you know then we hung it up again but we're still you know we're constantly on the lookout for a show that's gonna make sense for us to play now in the meantime 
some of the guys from the original band have gotten together. Uh, one of my longest and most dear friends, uh, Mike, is kind of the founding member of a cover band, a tribute band, I guess you could say. They're called Made of Metal. Now, I'm not a part of Made of Metal, not, you know, a uh, I haven't taken part in, in any of those shows as of yet, but that's all about to change. Middle October, I'll be joining Made of Metal for one song and one song only. One of my favorite songs. As part of their Metallica tribute. You want to know what song? So. It's one of their hardest songs to play. It's definitely one of their fastest, and it's the one that they play live the least. So, of course, for me, that means a lot. Have something else that I'm working on kind of secretively. It's not a part of the show, but if they leave me alone on stage for one minute, you can bet I'm going to play it. You might want to be there. <laughs>